you have to be an optimist to some extent to be an equity investor. But you also need to be realistic. And that means accepting the possibility that investment returns may be lower in the future than they have been in the past. Several highly respected commentators have warned of lower expected returns. Among them is Antti Ilmanen, an investment strategist at AQR Capital Management in Connecticut, who's written a book on the subject. If I have to pick sort of a fundamental story why we are in this world, it, it, it is around this idea of savings glut, which has been like 20 years. Uh, like it could be savings glut from emerging markets. It could be from the uh, pension savers. It can be from the wealthy um, who have got all higher savings rates. And and that that is probably something that's not immediately going away. This savings glut, says Antti Ilmanen, has pushed up prices in all of the major asset classes, including stocks, bonds and property, which poses a dilemma for long-term investors. Do they reduce the risk they're taking or do they take more risk to offset the possibility of lower returns in the future? With this, you know, characteristically... Um, I don't know, balance-seeking way, I have, uh, I think the middle middle way appeals to me. So I think that you, you should consider both more risk and less risk. And, and, and if you feel strongly, go with either way. I would probably stick with the long run, normal amount of risk and try to accept serenely that in today's world, that implies lower returns and lower spending than in the, in the past when we had the tailwinds. One option that's been gaining traction is investing in private equity rather than publicly listed stocks. Private equity did outperform public markets when it first became popular in the mid-2000s, but it hasn't done so more recently. If I study historical data, and I show this in the book, the valuation gap between public and private equity narrowed quite meaningfully just around that time. And since then, we have had very narrow gap between uh, private and public equity and slimmer outperformance than was the case earlier. Antti Ilmanen's advice for ordinary investors is essentially twofold. First, diversify broadly. And secondly, remain patient and disciplined. Good investing results require both good investments and good investors. So, so I mainly talk about strategies, but I did at the end focus quite a bit on this. On this, uh, what's 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 a good investor? And it's it's preaching about patience over return chasing, humility over overconfidence, discipline over emotions. I I would add not everybody does, but I would add probabilistic thinking over storytelling. Of course, we don't know for certain that investment returns will be lower in future. They may not be. But investors need to be prepared. And for many of us, that might mean putting more money away for our retirement than we have been until now.